Hello again, it's uh, Joe John McGuire. I'm still uh, down at Tirrah House in Leatherhead, uh, combat stress, having uh, therapy for uh, post-traumatic stress disorder, which I've suffered from for uh, many, many years. Uh, about to recite uh, my latest poem, which is done on a topic that I did in the creativity class, where we asked... We were asked to describe our perfect day, um, and I put some notes down, but I've actually, for the first time ever, written a poem uh, on the notes I've written down. I've never done that before, so here we go. It's uh, about post-traumatic stress disorder, and it's called uh, A Perfect Day. For most of us, when asked of their perfect day, the words come readily as if they sit easily on the tip of their tongues. Not the case for me. My memories are not so easy to recollect, having been marred by tragedy, which simply is not true. So my interpretation of a perfect day is one founded on trauma and is the wishful product of dreams formed by all the things I've missed and all the years of not belonging. My perfect day to wake gently from a worthwhile sleep without the reliving of bad happenings and thoughts that are intrusive my reflection, the first brush with myself showing signs of recaptured youth with no giveaway signs, telling tales of lost years and all the comfort that would bring. That I could be in love again, not that I know what love is, and that I could find peaceful normality fulfilled with contentment. If I could sit somewhere other than my solitary corner, converse as other people do, without experiencing paranoia about the threat of harm that so often overwhelms, and to treat myself to a rare moment of spontaneous mirth, as others do. To have no fear of the day's coming end, and to be sure that sleep will come again, naturally, uninterrupted by the prod of nightmares, like others do, and most importantly, to be rid of feelings of personal persecution, have no regrets over lost opportunities by the actions of others. To be once again in control, living my life to the full, to be part of a perfect day, and finally at peace.